welcome back guys i know a certain amount of time has passed since we made our last video on previously asked covid questions but that was only because we were busy on other series on our other projects like things only c++ programmer should know and you know code data hacks and all those all those so worry not we are back on track we'll continue with this series also okay so today with us we have string notation and i hope you have watched my code data hacks video because there i have mentioned a certain type of questions that definitely come that are bound to come all right and one of them was a question that incorporates multiple uh, multiple different type of uh, small small logics okay and this is again another presentation of that question we have encountered those questions like digit pairs and prime fibonacci and this is also sort of like that question this question you just have to break it and it's very easy to solve okay now let's go on string notation problem description rotate a given string in the specified direction by specified magnitude okay uh, by string notation we mean that suppose we have a string like a b c d okay and i say that you have to rotate in the right direction by 2 so how to rotate it when i uh, when i'm rotating it in the right direction okay so one, uh, if i rotate it once my string will be like this d a b c okay uh, when i have rotated uh, rotated it only once uh, if i rotate it again then it will become like c d a b okay this is a rotation uh, when i am rotating it to the right side so uh, because when i am rotating uh, rotating it to the right side okay it's sort of like a tongue, uh, tongue twister okay so when i am rotating it to the right side a will take the position of b okay so this will become a c will take uh, b will take the position of c this will become b d will take the position of c d will become c and uh, since it's circular so d will take position of c all right so this is after one rotation and this is exactly d a b c and if we try to rotate again in the right direction then our string will become c d a b okay this was in right direction suppose i want to rotate rotate it in the left direction okay if i am rotating in uh, my string let's say a b c d two times in the left direction then if I have rotated once, then B will take the position of A, C will take the position of B, D will take the position of C, and A will take the position of D because this is a circular string, right? Okay. So uh, this is after we have rotated uh, rotated it once. All right. What's wrong? If I tried, uh, if I rotate it again in the left direction, then it will become like this. C will take the position of B, D will take the position of C. And a, uh, a will take the position of D B will, and B will take the position of A. Okay, so this is the rotation part. And after that, after each rotation, make a note of the first character of the rotated uh, string. Okay, uh, like this C D A B. So uh, when we have rotated, rotated it twice, then we have to take the first character like B and C here. Okay, so we'll take them and we'll append them so our string will become B and C. Okay. After all rotations are performed, we have only performed two rotations. This is sort of like a test case. Uh, first character as noted previously will form another string. Check if the uh, check if this string, this BC that we have created, if it's an anagram of uh, any substring in the original string or not. Okay. So basically, what anagrams mean is uh, you have two strings and the number of uh, the characters that they have are same. So A A B C A A B C D and D C a b a both of these are anagram why because a comes twice b comes one and c comes one and d comes one in both of these cases so basically anagram means when certain characters are rearranged to form another sentence another uh, another word but the frequency of the characters are same in both the strings all right so that is meant by anagram and we have to check if bc is anagram of any of these strings okay so how do we check that our original string was a b c d this is how I plan to. If uh, our original string was ABCD, okay, so I'll take first two strings AB and I'll check if it's anagram, uh, if BC is anagram of AB or not, and then I'll check for BC. Yeah, we found a match BC. Done. CD, we don't even need to, uh, need to go there. Okay, suppose our, uh, you know, this first character string, it was CB. Then for AB, we'll check, for BC, we'll check, and for CD, we'll check. Okay and we have to check uh, you know that
and don't forget that we have to check uh, this first uh, first character string with our original string okay because when we are done with the rotations our string might get changed our string uh, suppose if uh, it was originally abcd then after rotations it will become like cdab but we have to check this first character string this cb with our original string okay the only purpose of rotation here is to calculate our first character string okay i hope you have got an idea how to do it and if uh, yes print yes otherwise no okay great now let's start solving our code as usual we will try to break it okay just give me a sec done <clears throat> i need to know what kind of inputs i have i have okay so let's first try to you know break this into two parts so firstly for me uh, the first step that i have to do is you know to calculate uh, this first char string okay this will be our first operation right and after that we just have to check whether those string are anagram or not checking anagram so i hope you know that these are the only two basic functions right that we need to perform here okay so calculate first character string uh, if i have to break it then it will again break into two sub parts that is like rotation and extraction rotating the string it can also become pre tiesome and extraction but worry not we have a simple method for that also okay so <clears throat> let's take a input let me check the input in which method they are okay so firstly we'll have a string and after that how many number of operations we have so s equals to int input i'll just name it orig s which means original s okay because i have to copy it to form rotations orig s and after that i'll take how many number of rotations i have right i'll just take input in the form of int all right now let's start checking our rotations so till the time our rotation is not equal to zero i'll just decrease my rotation by one and by the way why have i marked my original string to input i why the hell have i type pasted it okay so rotation one okay now what <clears throat> sorry all right so once we are done with this what we need to do we need to take uh, other inputs like direction and magnitude okay so just give me a second all right so direction and magnitude will be provided with them also so i'll just take input and they are spare, uh, separated by space so i'll just split them okay okay <clears throat> direction now i need to check if my direction is right or left if it is left then what will i do and if it's right then what will i do uh, yes okay so we have started with our calculating first character string right and now we are at our second part that is rotation rotation of our string okay so if our direction is left what do i do there are many methods of rotating a string like uh, you have already encountered this question in the past i believe like you can just uh, iterate through the whole string and then keep on pushing the values to the left or the right side respective of whichever is asked and uh, there are also other ways but i'll show you my personal favorite that is using string slices since python offer you such innovative functions so why not take the advantage of it so what i'm doing is i'll break my string into two part l first and l second okay and after that i'll add both of them part in the reverse order okay i'll just give you an example suppose my string was abcd right and i was supposed to rotate it to the left side by 2 okay now uh, my after rotation what will my string become it will become cdba okay so this was my string and just for a better example let's take some uh, sorry let's just index it all right so what i'm trying to do here is i'll break my string into two part so my first part will become s of 0 to mac okay this will become my first part and what about my second part my so my second part will become from mag to end okay mag means magnitude so uh, let's take example here 
my l first will become 0 to mag so 0 to mag means 0 to 2 and 2 is excluded by the way so my first part will become ab l first is ab okay and after that my l second will become cd why because magn uh, magnitude is 2 so 2 till the end of the string which will become cd and after that what will become my string my string will be uh, my string will become sorry left of second plus left of first cd plus b and voila we have our rotated string it's that simple right so this was when you have to rotate to the left side and if you want to rotate to the lives uh, le right sorry right side then what you are supposed to do again calculate r first and r second i know uh, well it's pretty simple but if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section i'll answer all of them okay so r first now since it's to the right side what we'll do is we'll mark from zero till length of s sorry length of s and minus the magnitude okay uh, let's take that back example that is that was <clears throat> a b c d and suppose i have to you know just rotate to uh, rotate to the right side by one so r is one okay and what were my coordinates 0 and 2 3 okay so what i'm doing is my i'm making a first part a b c d and my second part d if i rotate my string to the right side then what will it become it will become uh, see if i'm rotating uh, rotating it to the right side a will take the position of b b will take the position of c c will take the position of d and d will take the position of a right so it will become d a b c so what i've done here is i have break uh, i've broken my string into two parts r first that will become a b c d and r second that will become 2 length of s will give me 4 length of s currently here is 4 right so 4 minus magnitude uh, which means how much uh, how many i have to turn it how many direction all right so len s minus mag okay so len s minus mag it will give me r1 and by the way i actually need to check something other something more that is oh, sorry i just thought of an error that could occur so i have to you know mag modulus mag modulus uh, the string the length of the origin string length of the string right yes and by the way i have to die cast mag into int okay why i am doing here is this suppose i have i had to rotate my string five times okay so ma if i rotate my string five times it will give me the same result which uh, was given to me when my when i rotate my string only once r equals to one so that is why i have you know uh, taken my magnitude with the length of s because who knows if the magnitude now uh, if the string is small and the magnitude is much larger then it will have the same effect for five and for one so five modulus four will give me one and that is one so that is why i just uh, came up with this condition okay so after that uh, sorry uh, back to the topic r first r first will give me abc this will become my r first and r second will give me d and after that i'll just add it like r second plus r first so my string will become d plus abc so and we have again successfully rotated our string uh, i hope you have gotten how i do it right because it's very easy r second is equal to <coughs> so s of l mag and keep in mind that after that i am just leaving it open i don't write anything else because uh, if i don't write it means uh, till the end of the string okay so after that comes extraction right now i have to just extract by the way extraction is not even worth mentioning it's very easy so fcs plus fcs plus equals to <clears throat> the first element right so once i have once, I, uh, once i'm done with this i'll have my rotated uh, sorry my first character string okay now let's move on to the part of checking origin is okay so i have origin is here uh, and yes i forgot to tell you one thing since we had to perform you know uh, the anagram checking on the original string so i'll just make a copy i've used s here so just i'll uh, my or sorry my s will become orange s plus something 
Oh, actually nothing. Uh, why I've done this here because if I just make it equal like s equals to orange, then sometimes you know both of them act like uh, act as a pointer to to the string. So if I change the original string, then sometimes string also gets changed. So that is why I've just copy original string into s. I've made all my changes in s, and then I'll check my anagram with origins. Why? Because you know they have actually mentioned here specifically that check if the first character string is uh, is an anagram of the original string. Okay, so that is why I have kept in copy of original string. Okay, now we'll start with the checking of anagram process. So checking of anagram, there are many ways possible. Suppose uh, you know the best way to check anagram is to you know just calculate the frequency of all the elements, and then if the frequency of uh, you know all the characters are same, then it's an anagram. But I always say one thing that problem description always tell you only 50% of the question. The rest of the 50% is given by the constraints. Let's look at the constraints. The constraints are only 1 to 30. The length of the string can only vary from 1 to 30. So if I try with my frequency checking method, it will become a little bit long for me. Not much, but a little bit. So I don't have to optimize my method much because you know the length of the origin string is very short. So why go to all those hard work when I can do uh, when I can come up with a much simple method? What if I just sort both of those strings and check them if they are anagram or not, right? Generally, I won't prefer this method if the constraints were high, but the constraints are very low. So why just you know uh, create a dictionary and then calculate the frequency of all and then match the frequency of all? Even though if I used uh, I'd using that method, my complexity would be n. But right now, if I use uh, the sorting method, then my complexity will become login uh, and login right so but it doesn't matter because the constraints are very low so let's just take the easy way out and i'll just uh, sort my fcs okay i'll sorry i have sorted my fcs okay now what now i'll iterate for i in range of 0 to l of uh, length of s minus length of fcs plus one so why from zero to this length of s minus uh, this what i've done here it's uh i'll show you i'll show you an, another example okay because example is the best way to learn a b c d e f this was my string this was my original string okay by the way not s origin s okay and i had to check if the string like uh let's say d c f e if this was an anagram or not then how will you check it you will check d c f e for a b c d right and after that you will check d c f e for b c d and then you will check d c f e for c d f but after that you will stop right because the length of our anagram was d c f e and once i uh, once i check c d f i don't have that much character left so why go uh why you know why go more because uh, and uh, we go with the same condition because if i use the same condition that i was using for the past cases uh, so because you know when I was checking for BCD then I will check for all the four values but if I'll be uh, but if I'm checking for these three values then it will give me an out of bound, bound error right so let's just stop at C and we don't need to go to the front and this is why I have just used this for method okay I hope you have gotten the idea why because first I'll check my DCFE for ABCD after that I'll check for this after that I'll check for CDFE and after that I don't need to check because the length of the rest of my substring it's smaller than my uh, smaller than that string with which I have to check okay so after this what I'll do is I'll again use the benefit of string slicing I'll make my part s part s means a partial string and I'll just you know break original string into part of i from i plus uh, sorry i I'll start from i till i plus len of origin uh, I mean from length of uh, FCS okay why uh, if my string was this and I have to check for EFCD so uh, if this was my indexing right so if I'm starting from 0 then I'll only need to check till 3 right if I'm starting for 2 then I only need to check till 5 why because this is uh, the length of my FCS is 4 here right so if I'm starting from 4 then uh, according to my method then i'll just uh, you know i'll only check from 0 plus line of fcs till 4 if i've uh, 0 uh, and by the way 4 is excluded so i'm just checking from 0 to 3 which means i'm checking only for abcd okay 
I only check for A B C D. After that, after that, I'll have to check for B C D, right? So I increment my I by one, and I increment this part by five. So I'll check for now B C D. After that, I again increment it for two and six, right? Because uh, you know I'm actually increasing uh, I linearly, so one by one. So when I check from two to six, then I'll check for this C D E F, and after that I'll stop because of my conditions. And this is exactly what I've done here. So this was my part string, and now I'll sort my part string. Sorted. Okay. So once I've sorted it, I'll just check if my F C S is equal to equal to my part string, and if by any chance they are same, then just print yes okay by the way i'm not using it okay i'll just uh, use a counter variable flag i'll make it false here and i'll just break flag will tell uh, me if i write it to the whole string and i've till not yet encountered my anagram okay so originally flag was true and after that flag will become false okay <clears throat> if the flag is equal to uh, sorry if my flag is true then print no okay so i have done my checking part by the way uh, actually i just came up with another idea we can check even more of our boundary conditions okay like what suppose i had to perform eight rotations and my origin uh, suppose my origin string was a b c d okay and i have to perform eight rotations i can perform eight rotations right but after performing eight rotations my fcs my first character string what will be the length of it it will become eight right so is it possible that Two strings, uh, out of which the length of one is eight and the length of one is uh, length of one is four. Is it possible that they can be anagram? They can't be right because it's not possible for a string to be like this A B A C J uh, whatever A C D A C A D B. All right, this string can't be an anagram of this because the count is different itself, right? But if our string was small if our fcs was like this then uh, since it's smaller than then uh, then this original string then we can uh, just you know break all uh, check all the substrings if these substrings are part or not but this must be as a whole we can break the original string but we can't break this so that is why we learn another condition that if the rotation is greater than the length of s then they can't be an uh, they can't be anagram and you just have to print no and i'll just put the rest of this in a else condition okay i'm not using that uh int main method def main whatever it is because i don't like it i'll just use else here okay so if that is not true then we'll check for all these conditions and now let's try to run our code okay firstly let's see if there's an error or not okay length of origin s <clears throat> okay let's run it now luckily no error now let's copy this test case car is okay wait a second now it's become even hard to copy the test cases okay car is done let's try it okay some sort of error fcs is not defined r2 okay okay okay, okay. i know why this is happening uh fcs it should have been defined okay i didn't define fcs so fcs my string anything else let's see <clears throat> another error the term l is not recognized as the name of cmd lt is the error length len okay why did i pass mag here length of uh sorry length of s minus mag okay any else anything else i hope not let's try to run our code okay enter see no so well the answer was no let me show you the output is no here right here okay by the way uh, don't mind those errors because uh, because you know you you encounter it because that's how you learn okay <laughs> sorry so uh we get our answer correct but now let's check for another string okay because you know uh we don't have so much of test cases so let's just try to make our own okay mm, 
let's say that I have a string name as uh, cyan cyan blue okay and I perform three operations uh, left of sorry left of three I'll just write it like this because I'll copy and paste it and R of after that R of one R of one I guess that's enough okay so if I perform left of three then I'll my string will be like this N A Y uh, because you know if I perform left of 3 then my starting character will become n after that I'll take a right of 1 then my character will become a and then uh, after that it will become y so uh, my string will become n a y and is n a y an anagram yes n a y is an anagram if I check only for these characters then yes there is an anagram okay so it should return me yes and now let's check it let's remove them and I'll try to run my code fingers crossed enter cyan blue l3 r11 okay. it's returning me no i'll just check it i'll print my fcs print my fcs and my original string okay <clears throat> all right so there was an error n n n why is there an n n n fcs plus equal to s0 after that all right i'm so sorry how can i forget this r uh, that's why you need to check other test case also r second and r first okay now let's check how can i just forget this run code all right yes now we have correct answer nay for cyan blue and our answer is yes so this was a solution for string rotation i hope you enjoyed this video and well keep coding and please share this video so that you know it will act as an incentive to perform even better and let's keep coding thank you